Tony, a really hard fought win against Birmingham City today. What was your take on the performance? Oh well, I thought we started really bright, really good. I think we, uh, you know, we could have scored early. We had um, a great one, great opportunity that was a brilliant block from their defender, but um, and then they go up the other end and score, which flattens everything a little bit. We they they sort of sat in a mid block, made it difficult for us to get through that first press of theirs, and. Um, so it was a bit slow and pedantic, if, if anything, I felt. And yet we had flashes and moments of, of magic, really. You know, Robertson Diallo linking and joining and, and, and you know, a chance. It was, um, But they were a bit sporadic. And we talked at half-time because we scored the goal bang on half-time, which gave us the belief and confidence that we were going to go on and win the game, really. And um, I just wanted them to get engrossed in the football match and, and make it not personal individually but go and get the fans you know right up for the game and um, and go and believe that you're going to win and, and thankfully we did three huge points for us and everybody's really looking forward to Tuesday already now and uh, another game that we need to approach in a similar manner and um, be really positive aggressive and see if we can get another three points the man who will obviously get the headlines is Ahmad Diallo um, I guess you have run out with superlatives for what he can do on a football pitch yeah, listen. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I. I think I've said enough. He's. He's. A, he's. A, he's an amazing footballer. He finds the game too easy sometimes, and I need to sort of poke him to to make sure he's giving everything for the team, really, because the game's so easy for him individually. He loses concentration occasionally, but. Um, but yeah, we're all delighted he's here for us, and um, I think his link-up play with Patrick down down the right hand side is is amazing. When it you know the way they can interlink with each other and pass, and and, and yet. A brilliant individual goal today for him. Um, we've seen it before. In fact, he scored one at Birmingham in the reverse fixture, I think. And um, so we delighted three points, hard fought, as you said. I think they were pretty athletic and, and give us some problems at times. But uh, we managed to find a way to win, which is all important. You talked in the build-up to this game about the home record and the, how things have gone at the stadium alike this season. So today's result must obviously give you a source of delight because of that as well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, going one nil down, it's a long way back. I think when your home record isn't been great, you know, if you're winning every game at home, it doesn't matter going one nil down. You know, you've still got 60, 70 minutes to go and score goals. And um, and yet there was a bit of confidence about the team today that we felt we could do that. And uh, particularly when we scored in the, the end of the first half, it was really important for us and give everybody the belief at half time that we would go on and win the game. And and ultimately that's what happened. And um, you know, we had to unfortunately finished with ten men, and it was a bit. The last 10 minutes were difficult for us, of course, as they were gambling and a lot of big players and putting a lot of balls in the box, but we found a way to see it out. And, um, you know, I just said if we'd have seen out the whole game, we'd have been sitting in, in the playoff positions now. But um, let's keep going. Is it four games to go? We should look forward to them and, and, and just test ourselves and see how we get on. A special moment for Trey Hume as well. And then in the last two games, you've asked him to do a slightly different role. How, how do you feel his performances have been as well? Good, steady. I, th I feel as if he can he can play anywhere really, Trey, to be honest. I've asked him to play in midfield at times. I've asked him to push really high and flick balls on from goal kicks. I've asked him to play outside of a centre a centre back three. So um and he takes it on board, he enjoys it, he he just sees it as his, as the growth programme for him really, that he can do it. He's got the all the attributes to do it, he's athletic, he's good with the ball, he's competitive. Uh, I, I don't worry about Trey wherever we ask him to play. Just finally, you mentioned there a point outside the playoffs. You mentioned that you wanted already looking forward to Tuesday night games. It, it feels like momentum's been built at the right time in the season. Yeah, I hope so. I, I, listen, I, I, the games are still difficult. It's not as if we're blowing teams away. They're really tight. You know, one nil away at Cardiff, two one today. They're tight, tight games. And I, and I do put that down to the lack of natural goal scorers we've got because I do think there's so much good play around the box that we, you know, we had some players who made their living off scoring goals, um, we'd have scored a lot more goals and been probably a lot more points, but um, we're still finding a way and, and we did that today, so we, we're delighted with them and as I said, two days now, we're in tomorrow, see who's fit, who's not fit, see what we've got available, obviously we'll miss Dennis on a, on a suspension, but um, we'll prepare and get ready for Tuesday night.